Sup you chuckle fucks, it's your boy Dark Raku here with What If Issei was the grandson of Yuha Ba, part 1 redo. So before I go on, I know this is interesting from the fact that I'm redoing this What If. So like I always mention, if you want to see part 2 of the other What If, or you want me to do this one of redo 2, but not the point, um, just comment on the fucking video and yeah. But I'm actually going to redo it because I have a different idea and a different approach of this What If. But not the point. If you want me to kind of continue the damn script that I did for this, uh, probably I will do that. But for right now, I'm probably not going to continue that on because I don't like scripting. I'm too lazy for any of that shit. But yeah. Of course, like I all mentioned. Um, so yeah, other than that, uh, I don't know what the hell I wanted to also mention. But not the point. Let me begin this as what if. Let me shut the fuck up and let me begin. Okay. We begin into Issei Hyoto. Well, mostly a boy named Issei Hyoto. Right now in the middle of a battle between the White One. The White One is supposedly the rival of his. He is the well current Red Dragon Emperor. The current Sikuyukiri, whatever the fuck it's called, okay? I forgot what it's called, how you say it. Sikuyukiri? Uh, you want, I don't care. The, just current Red One. Just, just think about it, okay? Mostly the Red Dragon Emperor. The white one is actually considered to be the white dragon empress because the person is actually a female. Now, of course, she has long white hair and, of course, bluish crystallized eyes. Well, not bluish crystallized eyes. They're actually kind of a goldenish color. This white, well, she also kind of has a very, well, mostly quite interesting kind of figure. If you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, of course, this is where, well, mostly Issei is right now fighting against the white one. Of course, this is where, well, the white one is none other than named Valerie Lucifer. Or, mostly, yeah, Valerie Lucifer. This is where, um, the white one is half human, half devil, but not the point. This is where, um, she's easily being able to defeat Issei in a battle of mostly, well, domination, supremacy. This is where, well, mostly Issei, he is right now using an imperfect balance breaker, while mostly Valerie is using a very, well, mostly, not in, uh, imperfect, mostly perfect balance breaker, while, yeah, Issei's using an uh, uh, sorry, I'm fucking up on my words, not the point, but of course, with that happening, Issei is trying to protect the others from mostly the attacks from Valerie, because Valerie wants Issei to fight with more uh, fury and rage and other stuff, but of course, the word, well, She's trying, she just keeps telling Issei, fight me, show me more power, if I kill your parents, if I do this, if I do that, huh, just fight! This is where, well, she's trying to make Issei very angry and rage. This is where, well, mostly both of them manage to kind of fight each other. Of course, Issei managed to kind of, uh, manage to put the jewel, the, what's it called, the gem of divine, yeah, the divine dividing, like the original cannon into him, and managed to have the divine dividing, but not the point. This is where, well, he didn't actually have the scalpel with him, and this is where, well, he rushes towards, well, Valerie to actually try to cut her down, until Valerie just noticed that the sword attack was about to hit her. This is where she sighs, because Issei seems to be an amateur in this sword technique. This is where, well, she decides to block it with mostly her own sword. Now, this is where, well, she actually has her own sword. This is actually mostly a sword from, well, the Lucifer clan, because the sword that she holds right now is a complete black sword, but with a red kind of tint of it. Well, not red tint, it kind of does have like a silverish tint to it. Of course, it's where, well, it also does have reddish tint, but not the point. This is where, well, she just blocks it instantly, and this is where, well, she sighs and says, Phew, you're such a pathetic, I thought you would be stronger. Damn it. I thought you would be much more stronger than I thought, but I guess not. This is where, well, Valerie gets out of the White Dragon and Emperor Balance Breaker, which made everyone confused except for Azo. Now, Azo notices and right now told Ethan to dodge. Don't let her hit you. Hit you. This is what, well, mostly Ethan was confused until Valerie un well, mostly unsheathed, well, not unsheathed, mostly she kind of spread out her wings, her 12 kind of black wings, because, well, she does have 12 black wings, mostly because she's a descendant of Lucifer. But this is what, well, not 12. I'm going to say, yeah, not 12. It's 10. Yeah, yeah almost. That's the wrong thing. 10. This is where, well, she, um, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of brought out 10 black wings. They are all bat-like, but this is where, well, it had a super tint to it. But this is where, well, she then sighs and says, let me show you a form that will be able to destroy your form instantly. This is where Diedrich was confused until Diedrich tries to comment on his partner saying, uh, partner, this is going to be bad. He says, what do you mean? 
This is where, well, mostly Valerie right now goes into a form that's actually a part of the Lucifer family. And this is where, well, she says, Princess of Hell form. This is where a crown kind of appears around her head. Mostly it seems to be like a princess crown, but it's kind of like a half version. Kind of think of it like you know, or mostly like you know's kind of form on kind of that little kind of like greenish kind of like crown appear on his head, but not the point. But this is where, well, mostly she also appears with a crown on top of her head. It's kind of like a purplish blackish and at the same time kind of silverish. This is where, well, she looks at Issei, of course, this is where, well, her power increased a lot. Her goldenish bright eyes right now turn into a purplish color for a second. Mostly one of them, mostly the one in her right side, but yeah. Her right side was mostly the uh, way it was covered up. Her hair, mostly her silver hair, decides to become a purplish color for a second. And this is where, well, she then sighs and says, Princess of Hell dash slash annihilation. This is where, well, she disappeared from Issei's sight and right now did a slash onto his chest in an instant. Even though he was in this imperfect balance breaker, it just got easily cut down. This is where, well, Issei cough up blood and right now fell out of the balance breaker being destroyed. Valerie sighs and says, I thought you would be stronger, but then again, I'm sorry. This is where, well, Issei is right now laying down on the ground bleeding and this is where, well, everyone sees this and just wind their eyes. This is where, well, most see Charles X says, this can't be impossible. That form. She truly is a part of the, Luc the what's it called, Lucifer family. This is where Azo knows this form and he just got his teeth. He wishes he can actually help Issei, but that form is quite too strong. This is where, well, mostly, uh, right now Albion is kind of annoyed at Valerie for actually using this form and not using his power to defeat the red one. Of course, where, well, mostly Valerie scoffs and says, shut up, uh, uh, what's it called, Albion, for a second. Besides, there's someone here that's actually wanted to take the Red Dragon Emperor's kind of power. This is where, well, mostly Albion says, why the hell did you agree with him? This is where, well, mostly Valerie says, because I need someone stronger. This is where, well, mostly someone appears next to Valerie. A guy with kind of bluish hair and, of course, mostly having bluish eyes. Has a bluish kind of staff. And this is where, well, not bluish staff, mostly a staff. This is actually considered to be the true longitis. And this is where, well, he's wearing a Chinese outfit, but yeah. This is where, well, he kind of, like, crouches down in front of, well, Issei, that's right now being slowly getting killed. And so where everyone wind their eyes to see the true Longitis user, also known as Cal Cal, also known as, well, the leader of the Chaos Brigade, but yeah, or mostly the hero faction, but right now part of the Chaos Brigade, but yeah. This is where, oh, mostly, Elsa says, really, Valerie, you, you went so low to actually help the hero faction? This is where, well, mostly Valerie ignores, uh, what's it called? Azo. Well, mostly Cal Cal is right now looking down and kind of seeing the boy who's slowly dying. Cal Cal just sighs and says, well, so this is the Red Dragon Emperor, the current Red Dragon Emperor. Well, he seems to be slowly dying already. I guess I would just take his powers away already. This is where he performs a magic kind of, well, mostly next to him appears George, a guy with kind of brownish hair, glasses, and of course having like this greenish eyes. I think that's what he looked like. I can't remember. But of course, well, he has like a kind of casual outfit. But this is well, he kind of performed a spell on Issei to remove the sacred gear. But instead of just removing the sacred gear, he also removed the double pieces, which mostly kill Issei instantly. But before all that, we go into Issei's mind scheme. While mostly uh, the Cow Cow is actually going to try to escape the double faction, the fallen angel faction, even what's called the angel faction, because they don't want to deal with them too soon with them too much that's right well mostly Issei's body is on the ground while mostly uh Rhea's one to go up to him and cry for uh, for him but of course it's right well she was stopped by Sir Sex and told by mostly Sir Sex uh mostly Grace if he do kind of teleport Rhea's and was it called the others out of here Rhea's refused but Sir Sex told her to go now to the underworld this is right well mostly uh we go into somewhere in the mindscape of Issei Issei is right now just drowning in this water, this blackish water. He's saying, well, am I really going to die like this? This is where, well, Issei is looking all around, but he can't even twist his head to the right, left, or anything. He can't even hear Dietrich's voice no more. He just smiles and says, well, I'm really going to die here. He's looking everywhere. Of course, this is where, well, the life actually mostly... Lots of like images started appearing on his face. Ever since he was 17 to 16, mostly going back in time, mostly all those like years of him living for 17 years are starting to go back in time. This is where, well, he then remembers a man, a man with longish blackish hair. <clears throat> 
He had longish blackish hair. He also had mostly uh kind of what's it called? He had these darkish brownish eyes, and he was actually a kind of mostly the father of his mother. Mostly just the mostly he he was actually the grandfather. This where well he remembers the kind old man. Of course he wasn't old actually. The man actually looked quite young. He looked to be in his thirties. This where well. 30s or 40s but of course the man right now had always a big grin on his face every time he saw Issei when he was actually around he uh, mostly around six to five years old before meeting Irina Irina he met her at kind of like somewhere around mostly seven but not the point this is where oh. the older man always showed these interesting abilities towards Issei which Issei was so interested in them because well he always wanted to learn them but he could never actually learn them because his, mostly this man is none other than his grandfather and always told him that well he will actually get to experience his power once he actually managed to awaken the power within him of course where well Issei asking how long that would take this where well his grandfather says it could take multiple years it can take 10 years it can take however many long but remember this Issei even though it takes so long just remember I will teach you the basics the basics of the power and when you actually manage to awaken it you can show everyone that you are truly the descendant and the grandson of this word well before he can even mention the names they just get kind of cut off in an instant this is where well he then says well other than that we we will train this is where Issei remembers a bunch of memories a bunch of memories of well mostly this older man kind of easier using a blue whip, a blue kind of bow shooting a blue arrow and of course shooting this like energy out of it now of course this is where well mostly was created of this energy and of course he can remember the name now being called Ryatsu this is where well he doesn't know how to use it but of course it's not magic this is where well Ryatsu is a different thing from mana and magic entirely this is where well he kind of just remember all this. This is where, well, he then sees his grandfather saying, Remember, Easy, never give up on your dream. Never let anyone push you down because you are the grandson of me. You, Haba, remember, you are considered to be my grandson. Don't let anyone push you down. You cannot die too easily. Okay, this is where, well, mostly Easy remembers that. And right now, started trying to move out of the water and says, I won't die. No. I will. I won't give up. This is where, well, a bluish light actually appears around his body. This is where, well, he says, I won't give up. I won't lose. I won't die. This is where, well, a bluish light started appearing around him. A bunch of bluish lights and a bunch of symbols started appearing around him. This is where, well, mostly his hair turned white in an instant while mostly his uh, eyes turned crystallized blue for uh, actually an instant. This is where, well, mostly this bluish power around his body actually started appearing, mostly in the outside. Of course, this is where, well, the wound that was a huge slash disappeared in an instant, being healed in an instant, while someone actually woke up. Mostly, one of his eyes right now widened, well, kind of just open wide, right now showing a crystallized blue. This is where, well, there's kind of blood on top of his face because, well, he was kind of facing down on the ground. But this is where, well, he then says, What the hell? He just looks at his hands when he manages to stood up. And this is where well must push himself up and just kind of says, How am I? No. I know how am I alive. This is where well, the crystal like blue eyes are actually telling him a bunch of information. While mostly Issei right now and now understands and what happened. He has four different abilities. Four different unique abilities. First ability, he has the power to kind of see into the future. But not just that. But also alternate it. Mostly that is actually his grandfather's kind of ability. He also has other powers, something called anti anti this well, I forgot what it's called, but yeah. Then there's another power that's called limitless. And then the last power is called destruction. D for destruction. So yeah. Two mostly two A's. Well mostly not destruction. It is destruction, but it's actually annihilation. It actually turned to just having three A's, so mostly A for Almighty. A for anti, uh, what's it called? Antiphophis, mostly anti, whatever the hell it's called. But yeah, of course, then the uh, then the last A will be annihilation, and then the last thing, uh, what he has is something that's called limitless. But yeah, well, not limitless. Well, it is limitless, 
But then there's another one that's actually calm or see S for six eyes, but not the point. This is what well, he's so confused in how he managed to awaken so many abilities at once, but he doesn't care. Then again, he is the grandson of what's it called Yuhaba, making him one of the strongest kind of Quincy's ever. He gets up in an instant, and right now his hair kind of falls onto his face, his silverish white hair for a second. It's where well, he just says, What the? I see. So, for becoming the Prince of Light, I feel much stronger. I feel like I can, I can do anything. <laughs> this seems interesting. This is where, well, he creates a sword out of nowhere, mostly this like silverish sword. And an instant, it basically kind of looks like a Yuhaba sword, the one that he kind of uses to fight against Ichigo. Mostly, uh, what's it called? <clears throat> so I can actually remember what it's called, but I don't think it actually had a name. So I'm gonna call it the Silver Wing. This is where, well, the sword is kind of be like silverish, kind of blackish color. This is where, well, he felt much more powerful than ever. This is where, well, he kind of got up. And of course, even though he felt kind of dizzy and kind of like walking around, he felt now fine. This is where, well, he says, hey, so this is my peak. This is the true power I have. Does that mean I'm no longer a devil? Because he doesn't feel any more demonic energy. And actually, when he spreads his wings from his back, because he actually wanted to remember if he can actually now activate the Quincy wings, instead of having, well, demonic wings with him, it's actually just completely just Quincy wings, being a bluish kind of silverish color behind him. This is where, well, he says, wow, they're so interesting. This is where, well, there's actually, like, mostly four pairs in total. And this is where, well, we're not four pairs, mostly uh, just two pairs. Not two pairs, yeah, four pairs. So, of course, like, two on one side and two on the other side. And this is where he says, wow, so interesting. But this is where, well, he started kind of realizing that the wings are actually mutating to actually having ten. This is where, well, mostly he says, huh? How did I get five pairs in an instant? That's interesting. Weird, also. Hmm. Then again, I shouldn't question too. The I shouldn't question this much. This is where. Well, he also felt like he doesn't have Dietrich no more. He was confused until he then kind of like uses his eyes to look around and then kind of look at himself until he kind of noticed that he actually accidentally activated the Almighty. But this is where. Well, instead of like looking into the future, he looked into the past, which allowed him to see what happened. This is where, well, he was quite angry that some blue-haired bastard decided to take his best friend away from him. And this is where, well, he grit his teeth and says, that son of a bitch. This is where, well, mostly Issei decides to kind of, well, get up in the air because he started able to just fly up in the air. Well, mostly just his ten wings. And kind of look towards where, what's it called, the person will be at. Because he then uses the almighty truly to kind of see into the future to see where the hell the person will be at. This is where, well... He kind of found the person with the Almighty somewhat, but of course, where, well, he noticed the future where they kind of certainly will be at. And this is where Issei started kind of flying up to, well, that direction. Now, the direction is kind of being near the outside of, well, almost the uh, school, kind of like district. And of course, being into the city. Now, this is where, well, we'll see the Chaos Brigade, like Cow Cow and Valdemir right there. And even like, well, other figures like the Hero Faction would be there. No, like Hercules' descendant, uh, Gina, like those people that were kind of, uh, what's it called, the battle between Issei and like the hero fight and other things. <laughs> there will also be the kid that with the Annihilation Sacred Gear and also what's it called, uh, uh, Serfried or Serfried, whatever the hell his name is. There's also, well, Biku and Arthur there, even Kuroka. <laughs> Lefei isn't there because she actually needs to do, do something, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly, uh, right now, well, mostly, uh, mostly, uh, Cow Cow isn't using the sacred gear, mostly the longitis of Issei's to kind of fuse it with him, because he would need to actually figure out how to be able to kind of fuse it with him, well, kind of giving him a bad time or something, because he doesn't know if he can just put another sacred gear inside his body, or maybe he won't be able to withstand it. This is where, well, Mostly Valerie is kind of using divide, dividing to divide some of the attacks from mostly the three kind of leaders being well, mostly Surzex, Azo, and even what's it called, uh, what's it called, mostly Michael. But before when Issei can actually kind of fly towards their direction, he noticed the what's it called, reddish orb on top of mostly George's hand. And this is where Issei noticed also the reddish orb kind of has mostly the evil pieces within it. But he noticed one of it actually has Dietrich. Issei says, hmm, how would I be able to kind of get it? I don't want to reveal myself too much. 
But then again, I am Yuha boss son. I'm well, not son, grandson. And I don't want to deal with Valerie's crazy ass. Jesus Christ. She's actually more insane. Actually, my head doesn't hurt. Right, I'm not a, I'm not a fucking devil no more. Not the point. Hmm. I don't want to deal with her bitch ass because she's actually annoying. This is where Issei's thinking. What to do? What to do? <sighs> actually, this is where Issei already thought of something. And an instant thanks to his like limitless ability and his six eyes, they actually seem to be working quite par together. Even though he doesn't even know how he managed to awaken this type of ability, but whatever. He decides to put his hand right in front of him, and this is where, well, Issei then says, uh, well, not cursed blue, mostly he then says blue. For some reason, he thought of blue, and this is where, well, mostly George was holding on to the mostly magic kind of circle ball, crimson red inside it. But of course, where, well, something appeared. A force actually appeared within George. George was confused, but he got pulled in an instant into the air right now everyone was confused even the hero faction was confused this is where well right now father says what the hell this is where well george right now neck was grabbing an inting by isei isei says huh it seems like you kind of have something that i it belongs to me or mostly my friend this is where well mostly uh george wind his eyes seeing isei this is where everyone wind their eyes seeing isei but isei's hair is now white well a tint of white being still brownish but not the point white is silverish but not the point this is where, well, Issei says, now, would you mind handing me that sacred gear over? George kind of just tries to, well, use a magic spell to stop Issei or just to get him away. Until Issei says, I see, so you won't let go of the thing. You won't let go of the sacred gear that is mine. Well, other than that, bye then. This is where Issei right now lets go of him. Right now confusing the person in an instant, but he accidentally doesn't have an arm no more. Or not accidentally, purposely doesn't have an arm no more, mostly his right arm. This is where a red ball appears mostly on the thin air. Issei grabs it and this is where, well, he separates the demonic pieces from mostly Diedrich. This is where, well, Issei then absorbs Diedrich within his body. And of course, this is where Diedrich gets so confused. He's just like, what the fuck? Am I some kind of tool just to be passed around? Who, who is this person? And wait, 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 wait. He knows the energy signature and it's actually Issei. His magical signature is weak, just like always. But he feels he feels much more powerful and physically power. Somewhat. Yes, Issei kind of did kind of become a little bit physically much more powerful thanks to the Rialto. And actually make uh, Diedrich accustomed to the Rialto. Even though he never felt this energy. Well, whatever. This is what, well, we'll see. Issei kind of just throw the evil pieces into George in an instant, which George absorbed the pieces, but this is where he was confused. Until mostly Issei says, Arrows of Annihilation. This is where, well, mostly these arrows appear around Issei, mostly these bluish arrows, and they just stab into mostly George in an instant, coughing up blood and falling down to the ground. He's pinned to the ground in an instant. This is where, well, right now, Cow Cow noticed Issei. Issei noticed what Cow Cow and Issei says, well, I should probably start going. Besides, I don't want to deal with a crazy. This is where, well, before Issei can actually start kind of going away from OC in this fight, because he's no longer a part of the double faction. So he's no longer a part of the three faction alliance. So, of course, maybe he, sh he should just start leaving. Or maybe figure out how to get to the Quinty world. Because you remember something about his grandfather saying, when you ever discover this power, I will find you one day and allow you to go to the Quinty world. Does it work well? Mostly Issei is thinking, can I be able to just forcibly do it? I mean, my grandfather hasn't showed up. Hmm, could something happen? Issei is thinking in his head right now really quick, but this is where, well, mostly someone screamed, Red Dragon! This is where, well, it was none other than Valerie. Issei says, ah, oh, shit, not her again. This is where, well, before Issei can actually be able to kind of get away from Valerie, Valerie tries to swing the sword of kind of the blackish Lucifer sword, and this is where, well, Issei blocks it with the silver kind of blade. The silver winged blade. This is where well, both of them clash in an instant. This is where, well, right now, uh, Valerie is screaming and saying, Wow, I can't believe you got it stronger. And I kind of like how you look like. This is where Issei says, And I don't like how you look like. Not gonna lie, um, you're a crazy psychotic bitch, and I'd rather not be anywhere near you. But you know what? I'm already here. So I can either deal with you now, or... I can try to get away from you because I still don't understand my powers fully. But not the point. This is where, well, mostly Valerie says, <laughs> I can't let you get away. I can feel, maybe, I can't feel how powerful you are, but you seem to got it stronger. This is where, well, mostly Issa says, Well, I haven't got it stronger. So if you just let me leave and I can just, well, go away from your existence, like I can just walk away from your ex existence, 
then uh, we won't need to fight. That's what Valerie says. Oh, what happened if I kill the Grammarie Parage? Go ahead. Issei said literally what I care. This is where Valor says, huh? Okay, fine. This is where, well, before she even noticed what Issei said. This is where she says, okay, fine. I'll kill the Grammarie Prize. Like, do you assist it? This is where, well, right now, Valor looks at Issei with that eye kind of look and says, what do you mean? Go ahead. Issei says, I'm no longer a part of her Parage. Also, I just realized something. When I did look into the past and look into my memories also, I realized that mostly uh, Rias has been using me from the very beginning. This is where Issei kind of explains and what exactly happened. Right now, kind of upsetting Sir Zex after hearing this. This is where well, we'll see everyone kind of found out the truth and how Issei was reincarnated. This is where Issei says, I don't know why, but I just remember all that. I guess in the flash of light of death or something. I was facing death probably, but not the point. I probably was facing Hades or someone else. I don't care. But pretty much, I just saw all that. This is where, well, mostly Valerie kind of looks at Issei with kind of an interesting expression and says, huh, interesting. So, I see. So you don't care about the Grimmer Parage. Let's see. What about your parents? Touch my parents, I'll kill you in an instant. This is where Issa says, touch my mother, I'll kill you in an instant. This is where Issa said with such a cold, dead voice. This is where he doesn't know much about his father because, well, <clears throat> his father is human, probably. He can't really tell if he's truly human because he can actually feel two energy reacts to uh, signatures towards most of the Kyoto residents. That being his mother's and his father's, which he's confused because he never thought his father had a Ryatsu. This is where well, mostly Issei said, Other than that, I should probably be going. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna be leaving. This is where, well, mostly the white one says, Oh no, I can't let you do that. You're going to fight me, and I won't let you this time escape from me. I want to see how strong you are. Let's see who's stronger. Issei says, No thanks. This is where, well, mostly uh, Cow Cow says, before he even says a command and like attack to attack mostly Isaac, someone says, fire, well mostly, someone says, burn, bigger. this is where, well, he launches a fire attack blast straight towards Cow Cow, chest in an instant, right now making Cow Cow fall down to the ground, cough up in blood, everyone is confused until Isaac noticed a pinkish haired mohawk dude, this is where, well, he says, quite interesting, or not mohawk, mostly, uh, yeah, mostly a mohawk dude, but mostly a uh, kind of earring in his ear. This is where he seems to have a white outfit, mostly, yeah, white kind of clean outfit. And this is where, well, he had a hood on, but this is where mostly other people appear next to the person. A guy with blondish hair appears with kind of bluish eyes. He seems to have a sword with him, and this is where, well, he seems to be quite rosy. He says, uh, oh, you. This is where, well, he looks at the kind of people who appear. Mostly before, well, Valerie can even react, the blondish hair person was already in front of her in an instant. Right now, kicking her out of the way in an instant, pushing her straight towards mostly the Chaos Brigade and the Hero Faction. Kaboom! This is where, well, she gets launched in an instant. She had to use what to call her sword and even her power just to block that attack because that power would have killed her in an instant. Even Albion told her in an instant to just use something to block that attack. This is where she even tries to use a barrier, but the barrier was shattered in an instant. She just got smashed down to the others. This is where everyone wind their eyes. This is where the person says, Are you okay, young prince? He says, uh, You're. But this is actually where I'm going to leave it off. Other than that, yeah, I'm going to leave it off here for part uh, one of this uh, What If Mostly Redo. But other than that, bye soon. Yeah, I got to be going. But other than that, bye soon. Yeah.